Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm introducing a new series called Let's Talk About Blank. And today we're going to be talking about the Met Gala. And this is actually part one of a three-part series. It was going to be a two-part series, but it ended up being way too long. So it is now three parts. Um, part two will be up next Tuesday, so. Um, part one is going to be focused on women's wear. Um, but first we're going to talk a little bit about the Met Gala. So, I, I actually had to look this up because I really, I didn't know what the Met Gala was. I didn't know, like, the significance of it. Um, so the Met Gala is an annual fundraising event that's held um, for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute and it's an event organized by Vogue. Um, the event originally started in 1948 and all it was was just a dinner in like you know the charity portion of it. Um, tickets cost like only $50. Um, it didn't start to become a huge event until 1972, and that's when themes were introduced, um, in 1973. Uh, nowadays, the Met Gala is one of the most prominent and most exclusive social events in the world. Whereas the first Met Gala was just a dinner, um, now Met Gala goers partake in many different activities. Um, there's a cocktail hour, there's a dinner, there's live entertainment, there's a tour of the exhibit, and then the red carpet walk. Um, tickets are now $35,000. And they're invite only. So, you're invited to pay $35,000 to go to the Met Gala. Um... The editor of Vogue, Anna Wintour, personally approves each invitee. So if you're not approved, you're not a big enough celebrity, she is not going to approve you to be there. Um, uh, so the Met Gala 2022 was sponsored by Instagram. And it was co-chaired by Regina King, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Ryan Reynolds and Lynn Manuel Miranda. I have to say his name slowly because I butcher it every time I try to do it fast. Um, the honorary co-chairs included Tom Ford, Adam Masseri, and Anna Wintour, and the headline performer was Lenny Kravitz. The theme was the, G the Gilded Age, which was fashion in the United States from like 1870 to 1900. Um, the purpose of the theme was to show how wealth and glamour was used to conceal the social unrest and turmoil of the era. So what we're really doing now that we've got like the general information um, in this video is reading the red carpet outfits from this year's Met Gala. Um, so after doing my research, this is probably, this video is probably the one I've done the most research for out of any video I've ever created um and I've compiled a list of things that are considered Gilded Age themed so this list specifically is for women's wear um the 1870s was um a bustle which is a dress that's fuller in the back than in the front vibrant colors multiple colors in one outfit princess line style which is bodies in corsets with like vertical seams, long sleeves, high necklines, and intricate hairstyles. In the 1880s, um, princess line and bustles still are carried over, um, but more elaborate bustles that need like complex undergarments. Um, so, um, outfits were embellished with bows, lace, frills, beads, 
they were embroidered um underskirts like showing your underskirt was like a big fashion thing um embellished hats and they embellished with lace flowers feathers and like fake birds they would put like fake birds in their hats uh the 1890s um sportswear became a huge fashion staple um bicy bicycling costume which is like a mix of pants and skirts um shirt ensembles so like uh shirts and skirts but like yeah <laughs> um bell-shaped skirts and puffy sleeves so how we're gonna do this is the celebrity is going to get a point for each item that matches the theme i'm also going to score them based on how i personally like their outfit um and that score is going to be like out of five so like one being hated it five being loved it um their total score will be the theme score and my score put together um so the first celebrity is Sydney Sweeney so she got the bustle she's got that little ruffle piece but like that's all she has in terms of the theme um so that's two points um, in terms of my liking, I don't really like it, to be quite honest. Um, it's just simple white dress with, like, a weird ruffle. And so I'm gonna give it a two. So that gives her four points in total. Um, next is Addison Ray. Um, she has, like, a high neckline and, like, and it's kind of beaded, I guess. The sequins are considered beaded. So that's two points. And again... I don't really like this dress, so I'm going to give it a 2, which means her score is also 4. Um, next is Kris Jenner. Um, it has multiple colors, the yellow, the cream, and the white. It's got lace, and it has long sleeves, so that's, you know, theme-wise, the score is like 3. I personally hate this outfit. Um, it looks like someone, like, took curtains that had been sitting in the back of a closet, getting, like, all musty yellow and decided to put it on her you know so i give this outfit a one which makes her score also four uh next is courtney kardashian so it has a bustle it has multiple colors with the white black and the cream it's got long sleeves and it's a shirt waist ensemble so the theme score is four i also hate this outfit okay um Looks like someone took the pattern for the outfit and like sewed it together without cutting it apart. And it also looks like she's got like a giant ace bandage wrapped around her torso. I give it a one, which makes her score a five. Uh, Kylie Jenner is next. Um, she has the ruffles and she has like an embellished hat and that's about it. So theme score is two. Um, personally, I don't hate this outfit um I don't really care for like the backwards hat veil combo um but the dress itself is pretty so I give it a four which makes her total score a six um next is Kim Kardashian the only thing about this dress that is the theme is like the beading um besides that it doesn't hit any other marks and I have a really, really hard time with this dress um, because of the backstory of it. The fact that she wanted Marilyn Monroe's dress from 1962 to wear at a gala with a theme for the years 1970 to 1900. It's a little weird. Um, I mean, she chose it knowing that it didn't fit the theme. Um, and the fact that she stated publicly that she had to starve herself to fit into the dress because it didn't fit her is like so so dangerous um she has so many vulnerable youth watching her she has so many vulnerable youth watching her every move and to see something like that makes it so they'll think oh kim k starves herself to fit into clothes and she's hot so that's what i need to do as well um this dress was literally custom made for marilyn monroe whose body shape is totally different than kim's whether Kim has had plastic surgery or not, their body types 
are completely different. She really had no business wearing an iconic dress that was made specifically for another person. Like, get someone to make something specifically for you that's iconic. You know, um, the dress itself, or no, I don't know, it just screams like I want attention and I'm richer than you so I can do whatever I want. That's what it screams to me, to be quite honest. Um... The dress itself isn't ugly, but like the principle of it makes me score to two, so her total score is three. Kendall Jenner is next. It's got a bustle, and it's got the ruffles, so that's like two points towards the theme. I hate her makeup, okay, but I'm not really judging on makeup, so I'm not putting that into the score. Um, the dress itself isn't terrible. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the type of ruffles or the placement of the ruffles. Kind of just looks, like, half haphazardly and, uh, just doesn't look right. But I like the bodice of the dress, so I'm going to score it a four, which leaves her with a score of six. Chloe uh, Kardashian is next. Um, and just like Kim, the only part of her outfit that really matches the theme is, like, the beading. Um... So that's one theme point. Um, the dress itself, I like a little bit, so I'm going to score it like a three, which gives her a four. Um, the next celebrity, and I'm sorry if I say your first name wrong, is Aiza Gonzalez. Um, I don't really know if the bottom of her dress counts as a bustle, um, because I can't like find a clear picture of the bottom of her dress. So I'm going to give her half of a point for the bustle part of it. Um, she has long sleeves, beading and frills, um, and puffy sleeves. So the total for her theme points is three and a half. Um, my personal opinion, I'm going to give it a three. It's not the worst dress. There's just something about it that I don't exactly like. So Aiza's total score is six and a half. Um, Sophie Turner is next. It's got multiple colors, the blue and the silver. Long sleeves and then the beading, so that's three theme points. Um, not really crazy about this dress, so I'm going to give it a two, which makes her score a five. Um, next is Lucy Boynton. The only part of her dress that's the theme is the beading. And for my liking, um, I'm going to give her a three which makes her total score a four. Um, the next celebrity is Taylor Hill. She has a bustle, vibrant colors with the blue, um, multiple colors, long sleeves, and an elaborate bustle, beading and embroidery, which gives her a score of six. Um, so, oh, then her sleeves are kind of puffy. So I'm going to give her half of a point for puffy sleeves because they're kind of puffy. Um, so Taylor's theme score is six and a half. Um, for my scoring, I honestly love this dress. It's so beautiful and honestly looks stunning on her. It's one of my favorite dresses of this year's Met Gala. Um, so I'm going to give her a five, which takes Taylor's total to 11 and a half points. Next is Kaya Gerber. The only part of her dress that's the theme is the beading. Um, and personally, I don't think the dress is very, very flattering on her. I think it's an ugly dress, so I'm giving it her a two, which makes her score a three. The Carly Kloss is next. I'm giving her half of a point for long sleeves because, like, she has the gloves. Um, she also has beading. Um, I think this dress is, like, really sexy, and I think it looks really good on her. So I'm giving it a four, which makes her total score a five and a half. The next celebrity is Emma Stone. The only part of her dress that matches the theme is the frills. And I think this dress is really boring, so I'm going to give it a one. Um, I think Emma would have been better off in a dress like she wore in Cruella, even if the time frame was a little off at least it like hit more marks than you know what she wore um but her final score is two um next is Haley Bieber she has the bustle which is elaborate um 
frills and the underskirt is showing. So her theme score is four. Um, I'm iffy on this dress. I like it, but like I don't like it at the same time and I really can't put my finger on it. So I give her three, which means her final score is seven. Um, Megan Thee Stallion is next. Her dress has a little bit of a bustle, so I'm going to give her half a point for bustle. She also has the beading. She has the shirtwaist ensemble, sort of in a way. So I'm going to give her half a point for that as well. Um, so her theme score is a two. Um, I do like this outfit. Like, I'm not quite sure how she's wearing those feathers when they're like poking at her neck. I don't know if they're like hard feathers or like soft feathers, but it looks really uncomfortable to me. Um, I do feel like this would be better fit for like an ancient Greece theme. Um, I am going to give her a three though, which makes her final score a five. Um, the next celebrity is Gigi Hadid. Um, she has the bustle, the vibrant color, uh, long sleeves, high neckline, a lab, you know, her bustle is very elaborate, a complex undergarment with the, the bodysuit. She's got ruffles, uh, her underskirt is showing, and puffy sleeves. So that's like nine points for the theme. I like the jumpsuit, okay, but I'm not a huge fan of the jacket. Um, it looks like a winter puffy jacket to me, and it's just not that flattering. So my personal score is a 3, so that gives Gigi a total of 12 points. Next is Lily James. She has the bustle and beading, so the theme score is 2. Um, I don't really care for this dress. It's way too see-through for my liking. And the beading looks like party necklaces that we used to get as kids. Um, so I'm giving her a 2, which means her total score is a 4. Sarah Jessica Parker is next. She's got the bustle, multiple colors, a princess line, long sleeves, an embellished hat, and a bell-shaped skirt. So that's six theme points. Um, I really do not like this dress, and I absolutely hate the hat. I hate it. So I'm going to give her a one, which makes her final score a seven. I've seen articles saying that Sarah Jessica Parker was the best dress celebrity at the Met Gala, but I honestly don't see it. Um, the next celebrity is Phoebe Dynaver. I'm so sorry, the girl from Bridgerton. Um, she has a beating, so that's one point. Um, I'm not sure what she's wearing would be considered like an underskirt showing, but it sort of is, so I'm gonna give her half a point on that. Um, and honestly, I hate this dress. Um, it's weird. So I'm gonna give her a one. So her total score is two and a half. Like, honestly, she would have better, been better off wearing a Bridgerton outfit. Like, seriously. Like, Emma Stone, she had the tools, she missed the mark. Um, the last celebrity we're going to be talking about in this video is Normandy. I'm not sure if that's considered a high neckline or just like a collar. Um, so I'm getting, gonna give her half a point for high neckline. Um, she has a ruffles, an embellished hat, um, a shirtwaist ensemble, and puffy sleeves. I personally hate the bottom part of this dress. It looks like an intestine. Um, I'm do like the top part though, so I'm gonna give her a two, so her total score is six and a half. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, we'll finish the rest of the women's wear in the next video. Um, but this video is out already like 20 minutes, so um thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.